and unionist parties lost. So from this point, Rajoy should uh, admit that he has lost. He gambled calling this election because he had no power to do this. Uh, and he has lost the election. He has failed. So he should tell his friends in the judicial system to release our political prisoners, to put an end to this witch hunt, and sit at the negotiating table and start a fruitful dialogue with the legitimate president of Catalonia, which is Carlos Puigdemont. Madrid cannot sack our elected politicians. Our leaders are not Madrid servants. They are there to serve the Catalan people. M Madrid does have the law on its side, though, in, in all of this. And Mariano Rajoy is saying that, um, yes, he, he could sit down and uh, negotiate and discuss and, and talk, but within a legal, <coughs> excuse me, a legal framework, and that's the crux of the matter, within a legal framework. I don't think that the legal framework is imprisoning uh, politicians or forcing uh, presidents to exile. Mariano Rajoy should admit that there's a majority for independence in Catalonia. In fact, he got more votes for independence than in the October referendum. So Rajoy should stop um, avoiding doing politics, stop using the police or the judicial system, and try to find a solution to this political problem, which is the way that Democrats solve political problems. With the figures that we got yesterday in a yes-no referendum, we would have won this referendum. Rajoy is a political corpse because his party only got three MPs, three MPs, 4% of the vote, and he is ruling the Catalan government. He is imposing direct rule with 4% of the vote. This is something that shouldn't be happening in a proper democracy.